Hi, I'm Dr. Howard Coe, Assistant Secretary for Health for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm here at the International AIDS Conference in Vienna, Austria, the largest AIDS meeting in the world. And it's my great pleasure to be here with Phil Wilson, who's CEO of the Black AIDS Institute and one of the leading public health advocates in the country. Uh, we're very delighted to see Phil and also very pleased that he's a member of the Presidential Advisory Council on HIV AIDS. Welcome, Phil. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So tell us from your point of view the top two or three main messages that are coming out of this conference. I think that there are three main messages out of this meeting this year. The first is actually the curtain riser that happened like a week before the conference started where we identified you know, three antibodies that might lead us to a vaccine. You know, I think that's very exciting news. You know, we're, you know, of course, a long way away from having a vaccine, but having proof of concept that we actually can develop, vac develop the antibodies is usually important. The second story is the story about you know, race, no poverty and HIV and AIDS. You know, we have long known that you no know, black people in America have been disproportionately impacted by HIV and AIDS. Uh, and this story puts it into a context. It speaks to the issues around social determinants. It also speaks to the relationship between poverty and race. And most importantly, it, it, it puts us on alert that when we talk about HIV, we can't deal with it in a vacuum. But probably the most important science story of this week is clearly the story about my, my, microbicides. You know, the fact that you know, we can again uh, develop a the first prevention mechanism that will be female controlled. Uh, again, we're a long way away from having an actual microbicide, but the hope that we have you now that someday we will have that, and probably someday soon. So I think that you now those are the three important stories, and I think they touch on important areas of the work we need to do. So as I mentioned, uh, Phil is a member of the Presidential Advisory Council on HIV. AIDS. Tell us how this conference is going to affect your work on that council. Well, you know, we're moving into implementation. You know, the president has done his job and he's given us, you know, clear marching orders. We have clear goals and objectives. You know, we have markers that we need to meet. And now, the, the, you know, as, as, as they say, uh, the, the, the devil is in the details, you know. And I think for those of us who are on Pacha, this meeting provides us with an informational background, you know, to talk about how we're going to address prevention and treatment and research and how are we going to address the key populations that the president wants, wants us to focus on. So some final comments on the national strategy that, that you just alluded to. Do you want to make some um, last minute comments on that? Well, you know, as, as, as my grandmother used to say, <laughs> that uh, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You know? And for nearly 30 years, you know, we have failed to plan. You know? And as a result, we have an ACE epidemic that's 20% you know, larger than we thought it was. Uh, one out of five Americans living with HIV don't know their HIV status. You know, nearly 50% of people in America who are living with HIV are not in appropriate care. Uh, and the only way we're going to truly change the trajectory of the ACE epidemic is by having a solid plan. I think that the thing that I find most important about uh, the, the, the new national AIDS strategy is that finally we have said that there are populations you now that are disproportionately impacted and that's where we need to focus. You know, no, who knew? Uh, and so focusing on African Americans and focusing on men who have sex with men and focusing on the southeast region of the country where that is most heavily impacted today, I think moves us forward in our efforts to end the AIDS epidemic in our country. Thanks so much, Phil. Those are great insights. So this is Dr. Howard Coe from Vienna, Austria.